Imagine a song. It's played at every school assembly, every sporting event, every official ceremony. It's the song of your nation, your Bangladesh. Now imagine that song sparks heated debate, even anger. That's the reality in Bangladesh today. The national anthem, Amar Sonar Bangla, is facing calls for change. Some say it's time for a new tune. Others fiercely defend the song that's represented their nation for decades. This isn't just about music, it's about history, identity, and what it means to be Bangladeshi. The controversy centers around the anthem's origins and meaning. Written by Rabindranath Tagore in 1905, Amar Sonar Bangla was initially a protest against the partition of Bengal by British rulers. It became a rallying cry for Bengali identity. However, some argue the song's context is outdated in modern Bangladesh. They point to its focus on a romanticized past and its lack of explicit reference to the 1971 War of Independence from Pakistan. This debate has divided communities, sparked protests, and even led to calls for constitutional amendments. Why change a song so deeply ingrained in a nation's fabric? For some, it's about representation. They argue Amar Sonar Bangla lacks the vigor and patriotic zeal of a true national anthem. Its gentle melody, more akin to a folk song, fails to inspire the same sense of national pride as, say, the rousing anthems of India or the United States. They envision a new anthem, one that reflects the struggles and triumphs of Bangladesh's hard-won independence. This new song, they believe, would better capture the spirit of a young and ambitious nation. Others cite religious concerns. Amar Sonar Bangla makes no mention of Islam, the religion of the vast majority of Bangladeshis. While the song's original context predates the creation of Bangladesh as an Islamic republic, some believe a national anthem should reflect the country's dominant faith. They propose incorporating Islamic verses or themes into a new anthem, aligning it more closely with the religious identity of the nation. This proposal, however, has sparked its own controversy, with secular Bangladeshis arguing against imposing religious elements on a symbol meant to represent all citizens. Finally, there's the issue of historical accuracy. Amar Sonar Bangla speaks of a golden Bengal, a land of beauty and abundance. Critics argue this idyllic portrayal ignores the realities of poverty, inequality and political turmoil that have plagued Bangladesh throughout its history. They believe a new anthem should acknowledge these challenges, offering a more honest and nuanced reflection of the nation's past. Despite the calls for change, Amar Sonar Bangla retains a powerful hold on many Bangladeshis. For them, the song is more than just a collection of words and music. It's a testament to their cultural heritage. Written by Tagore, a revered figure in Bengali literature, the anthem represents the rich, artistic and intellectual traditions of the region. Changing the anthem, they argue, would be tantamount to erasing a vital part of their cultural identity. Furthermore, Amar Sonar Bangla played a pivotal role in Bangladesh's fight for independence. During the 1971 war, the song served as a source of unity and inspiration for Bangladeshi freedom fighters and refugees. Its melody, broadcast over clandestine radio stations, became a symbol of hope and resistance against Pakistani oppression. For many who lived through that tumultuous period, the anthem evokes deep emotional resonance representing their struggle for self-determination. Proponents of keeping the current anthem also argue for its unifying power. In a country often divided along religious, political and socio-economic lines, Amar Sonar Bangla transcends these differences. It speaks to a shared Bengali identity, reminding citizens of their common heritage and aspirations. Changing the anthem, they fear, would only serve to further polarize an already fragmented society. Section 4, Echoes of Debate, Anthems Around the World. Bangladesh is not alone in grappling with the complexities of national anthems. Throughout history, countries have debated, revised and even abandoned their anthems, reflecting evolving national identities and political realities. In 2017, for example, Nigeria readopted its former anthem, Nigeria, We Hail Thee, after decades of using a different song. The decision, while welcomed by some, sparked controversy among those who felt the older anthem failed to represent the country's diversity and progress. India, too, has experienced its share of anthem debates. Some politicians have called for revisions to Yana Gana Mana, arguing that certain verses are outdated or inaccurate in the context of modern India. 
However, these proposals have faced strong opposition from those who believe the anthem should remain unchanged as a symbol of national unity and historical continuity. These examples demonstrate the enduring power of national anthems and the complex emotions they evoke. They serve as lightning rods for broader societal debates about identity, history, and the values a nation chooses to prioritize. Section five, beyond the music national identity and the balance. The debate over Bangladesh's national anthem is about far more than just a song. It's a reflection of a nation wrestling with its past, present, and future. It's about defining what it means to be Bangladeshi in the 21st century. Those who advocate for change see an opportunity to create a national anthem that more accurately reflects the country's diversity, struggles, and aspirations. They envision a song that inspires unity, reflects their Islamic faith, and acknowledges the complexities of their history. Those who defend the status quo emphasize the importance of tradition, cultural heritage, and the unifying power of Amar Sonar Bangla. They believe that changing the anthem would be akin to severing ties with their past and diminishing the sacrifices made for their nation's independence. Ultimately, the decision of whether to change or keep Bangladesh's national anthem rests with the Bangladeshi people. It's a decision that requires careful consideration, open dialogue, and a willingness to compromise. The outcome of this debate will have a profound impact on how Bangladesh sees itself and its place in the world. It's a reminder that national identity is not static. It's an ongoing conversation, a melody constantly being refined and rewritten by each generation.